And I, I want to thank the guys again who did dance along to the song. And please tell me if you can see, confirm if you can see the screen in front of you with the batteries. Yes, I am able to see your yes. presentation. Thank you very much. Yeah. So I, I'm yeah. going to request you, Dineo, to please um, cut our number into two. Ne? Mm -hmm. How many people do we have now? 130. 130, yes. So if you could please create um, 65, 65 groups so that we end up with two people in each breakout room. Can you do that for us? All right, let me try to do that. Okay, but before you do, before mm -hmm. you do, mm -hmm. um, I, I would like everybody to have a look at the picture on the screen. And before you even go into that breakout room, you're going to spend time with one or two other people. Uh, it depends how many we are by the time we, we break out. So have a look on the screen, take a screen, grab if possible, because I'd like you to be able to see this when you get to your room. I want you to look at that as if that were yourself um, or one of these batteries actually were yourself. So if you're talking about yourself, how you're feeling right now, where you at generally, would you place yourself under judging? 50%, 40, 60, 80, 100. And what makes you say that? Does that make sense? So yes. you're gonna go, into your breakout room, you're gonna spend just two minutes, two minutes only with one other person. So one minute, the first minute is yours, the other minute is the other person's. And the, the two minutes to two minutes and we'll extend it to two minutes and 30 seconds so that within the last 30 seconds, you take 15 seconds each and you appreciate something that the person shared with you. One specific thing, when you appreciate them, it has to be specific. You can't just say, oh, your beautiful story, thank you for it. Or you have to say something that they said in their story that you appreciate. Or something that you observe, it doesn't have to be something um, like, it doesn't have to be retelling their story. You can just say maybe the openness, okay? So I, I, I believe everybody understands what we need to do. And Dineo, I'll need you to keep an eye on that chat room, just so. All right. Um, yeah, you know, everybody is heard if they, they have anything to say. All right, no problem. Go, two minutes and a half. First minute is yours, and the other minute is your partner's. And then the next 15 seconds is yours to appreciate something specific about what they said. And then you also take the other 15 seconds. So in just under three minutes, we'll be back in the plenary. You can go. Sorry, can you just repeat the question, please, Andile? So the question is, you see the, bar, the, the, the different batteries on the screen. So for example, I could say, I'm feeling like I'm on charging because I had lost all the energy I had something happened to me and it drained all of my energy, sapped everything that I had. And now I'm recharging. And maybe I'm, I'm doing that by eating a lot or by exercising or something like that. And then another person may say I'm on 0% because I feel empty right now, just examples. So you have to pick one battery that talks to where you're at now, how are you feeling and um, your energy levels, where are they at? Are they at 100 and what, 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 what got them there? Are they at 50, what got them there and so on. Does that make sense now, Erica? Yeah, perfect, thank you. <clears throat> thank, thank you. So we can send them off my sister, Dineo. Thank you very much. Hi. 
All right, please let me know if you're able to see the pop-up where you uh, requested to join the room. All right, I see some of you are already joining. Andile. Hello. So are you also gonna join one of those groups? I'd, I'd like you, I'd like to, if it's okay with you. All right. Is that fine? Yes, I've assigned you now. Thank you. I don't want to show you all the Yo, guy. Hi, everyone. 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 Yeah, I'm not so confused. All right, please. What's happening? Yeah. What's happening? <laughs> but I can see that it's going through two. I'm just supposed to be like two or something. Are they? That's okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 There's a break up. The room is going to be closed now. I think this. Hello. Oh. Hmm. Hi, I'm just closing off the breakout room. So we're gonna start off and create another group so that we we make sure that there are two people in one room, all right? So let's okay. get about 30 seconds. Okay. Thank you very much for for doing this. Um, and, and thanks to those of you who even shared in the chat box, feeling safe with us and, and putting it out there exactly how they're feeling and where they're at. And those of you who are feeling drained and low and everything, really wishing you everything of the best. I wish you strength. I hope things get better and there's some recovery. Um, if, if it's possible, I see your land is one of them. Your, your mic is on. Do you want to say something? Yes, actually, I'm been, uh, I'm recharging, uh, maybe mm. because uh, it's one of, uh, it's that time of the month, so I don't feel good. But I just took my medication now, so I feel well. I, I, uh, I do, and I hope that'll be better soon. Thank you, thank you for sharing, Suswami. All You're the welcome. best with that. Yeah. The circle. Okay, sure. Pleasure. The circle. I see your hand is up. Yes, my hand is up. Should I switch on my camera? Please, that would be great. I can't. <laughs> it's fine if you can't. Okay. Um, okay, our breakout room, the, we were a lot in there, so we didn't say anything. We actually, we were confused. Uh-huh. With, with what we were saying. 
Okay. Yeah. All right. That, uh, that, that's that's still okay. Um, that's a normal part of life. Sometimes things get messy when we want them to go in a certain direction. So it's all good. And and just so you know, and and hopefully I can I can bring some clarity. You you had an opportunity to share where you were at, so you could um tell us you are sitting at zero, 20%, 40, 60, 80, and tell us why you are feeling like that. There's a good example in the chat box. Uh, Hanifa Sadiq says, I'm on 80. I had a chat with my mentor this morning. I'm working on recharging to fill my battery as a focus on being a better person. So that's the sort of thing we're, we're looking for. Thank you very much for sharing there, Hanika. Um, so we will just move along because we, we have time constraints. If there's anybody who wanted to say something and I didn't see them or didn't point them, please forgive me. Uh, feel free to use the chat box to share whatever you wanted to share. So right now, I, I would just like to put it out there because some people maybe don't know what, what we're gonna be talking about today. So Dineo did say I was here before and I'm back now. So when, we, when I was here before, we talked about different ways that people look at this thing called success that I believe everybody would like to have in their lives. And today I'm back. I haven't moved much from success. Still there. Just, just, um, can, can people please uh, uh, mute the microphones? Thank you. And this time around, I'm, I'm talking about cultivating that mindset that we require so that we really experience success um, as oft as possible or as much as possible in our lives. So how I propose we, we, we do that is by a, a, a wonderful process called reflection. So again, I'm going to require my sister Dineo to help me in, in just a bit. Um, or if, because I, it looks like I'm, I'm, I'm not, Let's see if I would be able to, oh yeah, I can still do the breakout rooms. So between me and Dineo, we'll break you in, into rooms again. And this time around, it, it's, it's to spend this time with um, definitely yourself to start with. And then when, when it's time to share, we're going to, take you to those breakout rooms. So what I'd like you to, to just reflect on is, um, is yourself, who you are. So how I'd like us to do this is, I want you to, to take a pen and a, and a paper. I hope, I hope you have something like that handy. So that piece of paper, that pen that you've got, I invite you to do whatever you feel you, you can do at this, at this moment, whether it is writing reflectively, if you are that kind of person, or if you have some paints close to you, do some painting and, and, and reflect on this thing. What is that one significant experience you had in your childhood? that has shaped you into the person that you are today. Sorry, I'll say it again. So our way of answering who are you is by doing some writing or drawing or painting, any of those. Or if, if you are a performer, maybe you can quickly put together a routine, a, a dance routine, or maybe it's a, um, a, a drama that's going to last only 60 seconds. Because I'm going to invite you to share that with one other person within this um, group. So you are answering the question, who are you and how are you doing that? You are reflecting on a significant experience that happened um, to you as a child. And that experience has shaped the kind of person that you are today. What is that experience? Right. So we're going, we're going, hello. If you can please uh, assign the breakout room from your side. 
Okay, I'll do that, no worries. Okay. So in the meantime, we're not going to do breakout rooms. It's an individual activity. You have five minutes to do it. You are either doing reflective writing on that experience that you had as a child that has shaped the Chelsea that you are today, the Hanika that you are today, uh, the Kwanele, Zanele, whatever your name is. What is that experience that has shaped who you are today? What's the date today? It's the 2nd of June. Yeah. So the person that you are on June 02, 2022, has been influenced a great deal, shaped a great deal by a childhood experience. What is that experience? I want you to present that using words, if you like, or using a drawing, if you like, or a painting, any, any way that you can present it. Or Hi, Andy, you're breaking. I'm not sure if you're still here. I'm here. Oh, yes, you're breaking. Is... We lost you there. Okay. Um, I'm going to activate another connection point so that if one doesn't work, I, I can move to the other. Um, can you hear me now? Yes, we are here. Yeah. Here. And can you please check for me if on the, in the chat box there's anyone who is not clear about the instruction? So someone is asking if it does it have to be a specific moment, a time in your childhood. I want you to own the response to this question. So anything, moment, anything, and then paint that into a picture or paint that using words or a drawing or anything, any form that you can, you can present that. Are we ready to go? Ooh. Okay, I assume we are. So I'm going to share a song. And after that song, we will, I'll send you to breakout rooms to, but I'll remind you even at that point so that you can have an opportunity to share with one or two other people. Hi, Angela. It seems like people can't be able to hear the song. Angela, I can't hear you. Can you hear the music at least? No, I'm not sure if anyone else can be able to hear. 
No, I'm getting no from the comments. It's... You now. I can't hear nothing, man. Seems like the volume is very low and delay. Yeah, it would be. Thank you. Um, it will be interesting to, to hear or to see how that went, but um, I won't have a chance to, to share, I mean, to hear because um, I, won't, I won't be joining any of the rooms unless I'm, I'm allowed to. So right now we, we can create up to 50, rooms and we're going to do this as soon as possible click on it so that you join a room and um, i'm hoping there's a way that you can really share the time because for this one you'll have 10 minutes to do so let's let's see how that works if we need more time we may add just throw in five five more minutes um just so as, as many people as possible get an opportunity to 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 show case whatever writing or drawing or painting they did, or even a performance, if it's a performance. And, and they can just make sense as well, use words to, to just help make sense of, of their performance. Sharing that significant experience that you had as a child that has shaped the kind of person that you are today. Everybody clear? Can I now send you to breakout rooms? Yes, all clear. All, all clear. All right. I'm opening the room. Please join. I see 44 people are still here. 
Karabo, mind unmuting and, and letting me know if you're able to join any group. How interesting. <laughs> yeah, and you. Yeah. So, okay, you? with me, it was basically about oh, being um, part of um, acting classes in high school. So, later on, I realized that I have a passion with it. So, I went into um, a theater performer. So, I just graduated last month. So, you went. Yeah. <laughs> so now yeah, a professional. Okay. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> it was a Andre, I see your hand is up. Want to say something? Um, yes, I would say that the breakout rooms aren't working. We like over 60 people in there. Yeah, I, I just closed them actually because I noticed that I went to room one. That's what oh, I okay. discovered. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Thanks for that. So we'll just wait for, for all of them to come back and then we will see if sharing in this big group can work. Okay. okay. Sure. Thanks. Hello. 
Um, so I'm trying just one more time to send us back to, to rooms. So let's please try that. Join rooms and discuss, uh, I mean, and just share the things that we put together. Uh, if breakout rooms don't work, then we'll just come back to plenary and, and continue with the program. Okay. Let's try again to join. We should have fewer people this time around in each room. Chandra, your head is up again, am I right? Andile, we can hear you. All right, thanks, Dineo. So I was just saying, we're waiting for everybody to come back to this big group because this um, thing that we wanted to do is just not working where we would end up with small groups and people could share what they put together, the, the writings, the, the drawings, what have you. So we'll just come back and then I'll take you through the rest of what I had to share with you today. And then we'll call it a day. I really hope that people found value even in that individual activity that they did on their own. And I'm encouraging you to do use that chat room, chat box so that we can get a sense of how you experienced it. I see Tammy says on her side, was that you can overcome anything. I've seen people go through the hardest. Uh, don't know what happened there. Uh, I've seen people go through the hardest things, but they still had the courage to face another day and build that, build up resilience. Wow. Tazen says, what genre, is, what genre is this? It is so relaxing. That's jazz. It's Joe Semple. In all my wildest dream, it's my dad's favorite song. So it has become mine now. Um, someone says, uh, let's see who this is. I can see the name. I would say that growing up without my parents around is often due to work. It wasn't the worst experience, but I guess I did learn to be independent. Working hard came naturally because I had a taste. Um, 
I had a taste of how it felt like not to have them around. Thank you very much for sharing. Someone is asking what is happening. It's technology, technology is happening. We wanted you to spend some time together. Technology just won't let us. Uh, Kwasi, thank you for that beautiful share. Um, I, as I said, I'll, I'll just go through the, the last bit of what I had prepared for us today because technology is doing what technology does best sometimes. So yeah. what, what we just did earlier was, was an invitation in, into um, really reflecting uh, something that we don't always do, something which always gives us gifts. So for us to be able to really create that or cultivate that successful mindset, we need to be reflective people look behind because there's value there you can draw strength and you can draw lessons and then you can move forward someone was saying here my parents not being around maybe that was not the most ideal thing but looking back i am now an independent person thanks to that absence which was not great necessarily what it happened and Something else that I really would like to encourage you to do for yourself as a gift to yourself is to even um, go back to this exercise, even when you are alone. Even those of you who drew and painted and did all sorts of things, I would like to encourage you because writing is, is really powerful. Consider spending more time reflecting on the importance of knowing yourself. And when I talk about yourself, I talk about the self that you are when you are alone, the self that you are when you are amongst your family members, with your friends and peers, and then even within your community. That's one of the best things you can ever do to yourself, really spending time reflecting on knowing yourself. And the reason for that is when, when you really get to know yourself better and better, you, you stand to benefit a, a whole host of things. For example, th there are certain ways that I, 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 I used to look at myself because of an experience I had of being rejected by my father. And, and that's the only way that I ever looked at myself. And, and that was a very limiting, limiting way of looking at myself. And because I looked at myself in a limiting way, I had limited life experiences. And that's definitely not going to help you if you want to succeed in life. There are always different ways we can look at our, at our issues. I may have been rejected, but I am grateful that I've been able to reframe that and, and see that experience of being rejected as, as one that was a gift to me. And it was until then that I was able to experience loads and loads of uh, success episodes in my life. And the other thing that happens again when, when we do reflections like we just did and like the letter that I'm encouraging us to do is that when we reflect, we sometimes get to a point where we realize actually the things that I've always believed about myself, even said continually about myself, are things that other people have said about myself. And are they entirely true? No, they're not necessarily true. So other people don't know you, so we can't allow them to say or tell us who we are. And we need also to be wary of, of, of taking the language they, they use to describe us, to describe ourselves. We need to be able to go inside ourselves reflect on those experiences we've had and lessons we have and our dreams and our hopes in life and pursue those. In that way, you will experience success. And then um, when, when we know ourselves, another big benefit is that you, you take charge of, yourself, of your life and that benefits you and not only you, but other people because um, as, as long as I looked at myself as this victim who, who, got, um, who, who got rejected by my father, I, I actually remained a victim and I was drained most of the time. But the moment I realized that that rejection was a gift, things turned around for, for my good. Now I, I do, like even today, 
the the stuff that I'm doing where I work and in my own business. And I, I it's all stuff that really is beneficial for me because it makes me come alive when I do what I like. And then it also benefits other people. And that, that just warms me inside when I see um, how much it benefits other people. And, and the last thing that I'd, I'd like to say is, is, is that all of us, all of us, we, uh, um, there's this way that we've told our stories, like I told mine as, a, as, as someone who experienced rejection, but I, I did that because I did not know that I had power over the way that I think about my, myself. So even all of us, even all of us present here, we have that power over the way that we think, the way that we speak, the way that we tell our stories. And that's the end of my input. Thank you very much. Over to you, Dineo and Erica. All right. Thank you so much, Andile. I just hope everyone else was motivated and will obviously do those activities on their own while they get time. But I'll also request that everyone else, if they can please complete the attendance register, which is very important. So it, it will take about three minutes. So I'm going to post it on the chat box so that we know how many people have attended, all right? I hope that's clear. Please let me know if you have received the survey. So we'll also uh, be taking questions. If you have questions, you are most welcome to raise your hand, or you can also post it on the chat box. Maybe you want to say a few words, what you have learned about today's session. And thank you so much, Andile. This was really insightful and really great of you uh, giving us your time. Thank you, Danielle. No problem. OK, then I'll leave at that. Cheers. All right. Uh, Anthony, I see your comment. You're saying, is this the last meeting? No, we normally have this kind of meeting every single first, th first Thursday of the month. All right, so any other sessions will be communicated with you via email or WhatsApp, all right? So if you can be on the look about that. I just hope everyone else is completing the survey. It will take about three minutes, then we can close off the session. I have posted the survey on the comments. Is everyone else able to access it? Let me just show it again. Do you mean I've just posted it? Do you see it now? All right, if you request me to send it via WhatsApp, please send me a text requesting it and then I will share it via WhatsApp in case some of you are joining in groups because of it's important that you complete it individually. All right, any question? While some of you are still completing. Okay. <laughs> If you have completed the survey, please write in the comments saying you are done. Thanks for those who have completed it. I see some of your comments. Thanks, Tepo, Raish, Angel, thank you. All right. I'm going to request one more thing from everyone else. If everyone else can please uh, open your videos, all right? And then we'll take a picture and then we'll say goodbye to one another. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs> all right, please make sure that you complete the survey. Bye. Thanks for joining. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 B
Hi. Die, die mensen is me zo regelijk. Ik praat. Ja, ze kan ook niet. Hi.